So over here at Casa de Sparkalicious today, we're talking about healthy eating tips and just a little bit of a healthy eating chit chat for you really, because I haven't done one of these in a while. But I thought I'd kind of just talk to you about um, a few little tips that I've been doing, new discoveries I've found and just what I've been thinking health wise lately. So um, in terms of what I've been eating, I have been trying to eat a little bit more because I realized that I just wasn't really eating enough and I was being really restrictive and I was getting really tired and really hungry all the time and I just decided that I should probably eat things that were a little bit more nutritious versus just kind of low calorie crackers and that kind of thing. And I've also been um, starting to work out a little bit more seriously again. So I've been going for the odd jog Ugh, I still hate it, um, but also exercising on my exercise bike and doing the 30 day shred. So not kind of religiously with the shred, but just kind of doing it because it is good exercise. So I've been doing that, but this week I've kind of been a bit uninspired to do anything um, exercise wise really, because I was really poorly on Monday and Tuesday. I had a really weird stomach bug. So I haven't been doing um, too much this week. But the week before that, I had been really good with my eating. I'd eaten really well. I'd worked out every day. And it always amazes me how quickly my body can sort of get into shape when I'm being really religious about it, which was what I was doing. I just instantly um, was down to my lowest weight, which is 56 kilos. And I was eating kind of quite well. I was eating bread. I was just eating pop proper meals but eating well and I was down to 56 kilos and my hips were kind of smaller and I was just kind of back at the good place this week because I've kind of been eating a bit badly and not working out I haven't put weight on as such but I'm kind of back to more like 57 kilos and just um a little just feeling a little bit thicker everywhere but that's what happens and then I can easily kind of monitor it and get back to normal um after eating normally for a couple of days my um my meals have kind of been, well, my breakfast is always the same. I always have cereal for breakfast. It's either all brown or Weetabix. And I've tried to do different things. I've tried to have like um, oats or muesli. And I just really, really, really don't like oats in that format I just think they're horrible um, and I have also been having fruit the other time but it just doesn't really keep me full I need carbs in the morning I need fiber and I need carbs so that's what I've been kind of having for um, breakfast I've been having the Weetabix bran flakes which look like this um, with just some skimmed milk and it kind of will keep me full for all of the morning I don't kind of snack in between lunch and breakfast but I will have also then been kind of for lunch time having um, things that are a little bit different so I'm going to insert some footage now of what I would have for lunch and what I would have for dinner and um, then you'll kind of see that I've been eating just a little bit more substantial but in a little bit more of a So sorry way. if you can hear a background noise, I've got the washing machine going but this is just a classic lunch example for me. So I've got some kind of Italian bean soup which I made last night and it's just some chopped tomatoes, courgettes, onions, cannellini beans and red peppers and seasoned with some Italian herbs. Really simple to make, just kind of bung it all in a pot and just let it kind of simmer away for as long as you like really. Um, and then on the side I've just got some toast, so just some whole grain toast with some sunflower bread just to kind of dip in. But it's a really filling lunch, it's kind of satisfying, you don't feel like you're kind of eating just a flimsy little salad and you're getting loads and loads of vegetables which is really important. So dinner is served and it's actually still in the saucepan because I've just made it. But I've got some quinoa here and what I always think is great is to just bulk it out as much as you can with loads of veg. So I just boiled some green beans and then just everything else is grilled vegetables. So I've got cherry tomatoes, peppers, um, some onions, some courgettes, that kind of thing. Really filling, really delicious. You're getting loads of vegetables again. In case you haven't noticed, I do like my vegetables. And um, it is kind of similar, kind of in a way to what I had at lunchtime um, in terms of the vegetables that I have but those are the types of vegetables that I love I couldn't live without courgettes and peppers and tomato and that kind of thing so I'm really looking forward to eating this it's going to be delicious I just cook the quinoa on its own and then just chucked everything in a bit of oregano um, and some fresh basil and it's absolutely delicious so that was what I ate yesterday and I feel like my meals do get quite repetitive because they're just the things that I like like I love a lot of sort of Mediterranean style um, cuisine so I will eat a lot of things like that um, last week I had quite a lot of 
um, like I had loads of vegetables and I had quite a bit of like scrambled egg with whole grain bread and that kind of thing so I really enjoyed that and one of my discoveries lately is to kind of have a more substantial snack um, during the evening so after I've had dinner I was just having some sort of ravitas with some um, like Philadelphia and some cucumber or something like that just to kind of um, keep me going because I have my dinner quite early normally I normally sort of have my dinner at about seven um, and then by like nine o'clock I'm kind of hungry again so I've been having that and I've also been having a bit of a thing for biscuits so I bought these Weight Watchers oats chocolate chip cookies I know I said I don't like oats but it, they don't taste like oats and um, these are really good to take with you on the go as well because they have 86 calories in and they're just portioned so you get a portion of two little cookies like that they are really small but they kind of satisfy it they're quite nice they're kind of not you know the most amazing biscuit ever but 86 calories for two isn't too bad and I like the fact that they're kind of in these little individual packets and you can just chuck it in your bag um, or chuck it in your kind of lunch box for work and you don't have to worry about it too much I've been drinking loads and loads of water I always do that um, I've just got this bottle here it's kind of mangled because it was in my um, bag for ages but it's just a big bottle of water I go through so many of these um, I have to drink about three a day and I just drink a lot of green tea as well I find that green tea really does help to fill me up and really helps to kind of make me feel a bit more energised. That being said, I have been having really weird caffeine cravings lately and I feel like it... <laughs> I think it was because I started drinking caffeine when I wouldn't normally. So I don't normally ever drink coffee. I do like coffee, but I just don't ever really drink it. And then I was having like the odd iced coffee, which iced coffee, like I don't really mind too much. It doesn't give me too much of a problem. But while I was away, I was like having a sort of nice sugary coffee mid afternoon, which I don't ever, ever normally do. Um, and I kept having the odd Diet Coke. And now I have got like a real Diet Coke craving all the time. My boyfriend went to the shop yesterday and um, he said, do you want anything and I just said can you bring me a can of Diet Coke it has to be in a can I can't drink it in a bottle it's only in a can but it was then one o'clock at night and I was still wide awake because I drank it in the evening and it just made me feel really really like energized and I wasn't sleepy at like half past one so that wasn't a very good um thing and I've got to stop it because they're just so 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 bad for you and I don't know why I keep craving caffeine I'm not like you know super tired that I need to kind of pick me up it's not that I'm not quite sure why I'm craving it but um that's that another thing I've been really enjoying is just kind of reading a bit more about weight loss and nutrition and that kind of thing and um, my lovely friend has opened a Facebook page which is called simply raw I'm gonna put the link in the down bar so you can go and have a look at it but she posts like really lovely um, sort of healthy recipes and little tips and detoxing tips and she's very kind of into like raw food and health and that kind of thing very very knowledgeable about it so she's been posting things on her Facebook page and on Twitter I'll put her Twitter username and her Facebook thing um, down below so you can go and have a look but she as I said really really fantastic and I've been enjoying kind of reading those sort of things so go and like her page go and leave a nice message on the page and say that I sent you or something and like her page she'll be really pleased but um, I've been doing that I've been kind of reading quite a lot and I have been thinking a little bit about it as well and I've been thinking about maybe just trying to it's not that I really want to lose any more weight, I don't, I just want to kind of stay at 56 kilos and just get rid of the softness and a bit of the squidge, which I'm kind of getting there, but I've just been being not quite um, as on the ball with it as I normally am lately, and I was ill, like I said, and I don't feel like I'm like always making excuses, but I do have like really good weeks and then kind of off weeks, everyone does. Um, and on Instagram as well, there's this girl that I've been following on Instagram that I was following her and then I realised I knew her and she was on that Secret Eaters program. But let me tell you what her username was so you can go and have a look. It's Lauren something. Um, let me just find her. But I was, yeah, I had been being very good and then I kind of feel great and then it, it all goes a bit downhill after. I don't like, you know, eat really badly and put tons and tons of weight on. It's just like kind of let go a bit and I've also been having like Sunday and Saturday off and kind of eating I haven't been eating a lot on them but I've just kind of been eating not as healthily really on both days and normally it would just be a Saturday but I thought that doing it on both days kind of would make me not eat as much on the one day if that made sense that's not too much of a problem but where is she I swear I oh there she is 
it's Lauren um, Spearman. So that's her Instagram name and she posts kind of recipes and things and she's just opened a blog now so she's really cool. Go and have a look at her um, her profile on Instagram because she posts really like inspirational things. And um, yeah, I've been just thinking about trying to just kind of eat normally a little bit and just count calories because I was thinking about it and realizing that the way for me is to count calories I just I need to count what I'm eating that's how it works for me but I then realized as well that something that um a lot of the things that I really enjoy eating aren't that calorific and that you know just because I like to have all brands doesn't mean that you know once or twice a week I can't have like two crumpets with like light Philadelphia on them because that's like under 200 calories which is not bad at all. I know it's like white flour and all that kind of thing, but I'm not too fussed if it's in small quantities. So things like that I've been thinking about perhaps doing and that that might be a nice little addition. And like I don't ever ever eat cheese anymore, like um, just cheddar cheese. And I just keep thinking like I kind of just miss it a little bit and just miss kind of being a bit more normal versus being super super healthy all the time and then I feel like when I can eat something naughty then I'm like oh really excited about it because I don't do it very often so if I do it in small quantities often maybe that will kind of cure that and I'm very pedantic about it as well so like if I've I like to eat well you know Monday to Friday and then if I've had a bad day in the middle I'm like oh I can't do it anymore it's all ruined and then just eat more but I don't know. So I've been kind of thinking about doing that and just trying to kind of eat a little bit more calorie conscious and I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to do a little experiment of just eating things that I like um, but being calorie conscious and trying to keep the calorie content low and then maybe just having like a healthy dinner. Um, and if, I don't know, and like, I don't know, I just miss kind of like being a little bit more normal about it, if that makes sense. I feel like my eating habits are a bit weird. So that's kind of where I've been... Um, from that point but that's kind of the info um, I've been eating quite a bit more fruit lately I've been snacking on fruit which has been really good and I am gonna start trying to maybe sort of do smoothies and that kind of thing in the morning or maybe on weekends when I've got time because in the morning I can't see myself doing it but I hope that this video was helpful to some of you just kind of little bits of healthy tips and tricks and um, I have been eating loads and loads of vegetables lately and a lot of people always ask me in the comments like how do you get so much veg and I just like to kind of bulk out anything I'm eating with tons and tons of vegetables I just find like it fills me up and they're just yummy like I couldn't live without onions and peppers and courgettes and um, sweet potatoes and tomatoes I eat a hell of a lot of cooked tomato I hate tomatoes raw like raw they're the devil but cooked I think they're delicious but I want to kind of be a bit more of a normal person like I honestly can't remember the last time I ate a normal potato and you know I know that like unless I'm so so strict I'm never ever going to be super skinny and have like you know a body like someone that I would really like to have a body um, of but so I think you know if I'm gonna look like I do I might as well kind of enjoy myself a bit more in the process um, I haven't kind of lost it in many places I know like a lot of people always sort of comment about this part but this part of me is just very bony anyway it's not something that I've um, done deliberately my arms can you believe I'm wearing a vest in a video how like weird is that but I really don't like my arms very much they're just sort of quite squishy but I'm kind of learning to deal with it because I think it's not that terrible and I can't just be hiding my arms all the time because it's getting a bit ridiculous and everybody that knows me keeps laughing about how I dress like I'm 50 because I'm so conscious about everything but um yeah I definitely feel that when I'm like being better about it that everything kind of falls into place and it's not so much eating it's working out working out really really does do it for me so I need to kind of get back on track but obviously you can't um do that when you're poorly so that's my excuse for this week but I will do another healthy update soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.